All right. Talk about the next song. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Uh, Seven of Cups is related to tarot cards. Yeah. Because fill in the blank. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You were like, where's he going with this? He had no input in look any of these i i had to look up uh what you know i was just trying to figure out i'm no tarot card expert i was just trying to figure <laughs> out what to name this damn song and i at the time uh you know i really liked the artwork on tarot decks and um i read that seven of cups means something or other and it kind of fit with the lyrics a little bit but you know just like in the song, uh, there are things that I think of and I never can remember what they were. And now I can't remember what Seven of Cups really means. And so that song is very true. Very true. It's very true. <clears throat> I have a, a really, really bad memory. That's, it resonates because there's seven people in the band. Short term memory, anyways. We all drink cups. Yeah. There's seven of us because some of us are multiple people in one. Sydney mm-hmm. counts as you know. I'm probably three, about three, and four. me and Cameron are both two each. Mm-hmm. When I'm, I'm drinking out of a cup right now, actually. Damn. Would you call that a cup or a mug? I call it a cup. You it's know. A mug. All uh, mugs are cups, but not all, not all cups are mugs. Do you want to talk about? One of these? Uh, sure. Uh, one of these. It's our most recently recorded song. Yeah, it's, uh... God damn. That video was funny to record. Or to to do. The best shot of it is you outside in the alley. You said it reminded you of some uh, Jan something on YouTube. Jan Terry. Yeah, Jan Terry. Shout out Arabella for helping record that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. It wasn't supposed to be on the album, but, uh, you know, we just made it as a single. But, uh, you know, it just got... Uh, stuck on there as in uh, a digital B side or whatever you'd mm, call bonus that. Track. It needed a home. Yeah, yeah, and you know we just thought maybe it would help it get a little more uh, love and stuff. It also strengthens the numbers on the B side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> digital B side. I just want everyone to know that in real life I am. Equally as monotoned and boring. Mm-mm. If you talk to me, depends yeah, on what like day you get. There's no the surprises here. I'm not a very. Uh, you could get um, outgoing, Sydney. Some days. Sometimes, and I don't even know when that'll happen. Mm-hmm. You don't. And sometimes in one day. You'll I get will, silly and sad, Sydney. Yeah. I mean, during practice, just one practice <laughs> alone, like an hour, in the span of an hour, I will go from being so joyful and giddy, almost, you know, maniacally laughing at things that just aren't that funny, and then all of a sudden, I'll just like throw the microphone across the room, <laughs> storm out, start crying about something. No, just kidding. Things <laughs> it's in not the basement that, bad. that just makes sense. <laughs> Sydney being mad. (laughs) (laughs) After she was happy. I'm just like really dramatic. (laughs) (laughs) If you can't tell by all of these lyrics. (laughs) Actually, uh, a lot of the write-ups did say like Wombo got moody. Wombo was really dramatic. I'm a moody person. It took a dark turn. (laughs) <laughs> really moody. I'm not an easy person to uh, to live with, you know. I'm just not, and that's okay. I'm just moody. Moody's got a problem. We might record that. I hope we do. So should we um should we wrap it up? Yeah. 
This has been our Wombo diving through Fairy Rust, speaking about each of the songs. And shout out Fire Talk, Big T, Ruby, John Carlo, JC, Natalie. Mm-hmm. Major love to the Fire Talk family. Signing off. I'm leaving.